Hi Aquarius, I'm Brenda and I'm here again today to bring you your weekly angel tarot card reading for the week of December the 7th to December the 14th. I want to thank you again for tuning into my channel, for all the subscribers coming in, leaving me beautiful, kind and optimistic comments behind these videos. And for all the people booking private readings with me, I am truly blessed and I thank you for that. We start our week, Aquarius, on Monday with a water card. And you, my friend, have been given the nine of water. This is telling me that some of you have been dreaming and praying and meditating upon a relationship in your life and wanting that significant other. This is telling me that your wish comes true and all your concerns now are fading away for some of you. And it definitely has to do with your love life. On Tuesday, Queen of Fire. Okay, the fire cards have to do with uh, self-development and basically represents our ideas and how we set those things into motion and setting our dreams into motion. This Queen of Fire is telling me that now some of you are ready to stretch your wings and fly. You have the capability of doing that and all the resources now coming into you. Don't underestimate yourself or lose your confidence with this situation that you're dealing with in your life because you can do this. You're now going to be able to assert more independence and more creativity into your life. On Wednesday, you've been given, a uh, crowning your week, you've been given another fire card. And this one is the Page of Fire. And this is telling me that there's some new exciting news coming into some of you about an endeavor that you've been looking forward to and working on and expecting and, and, and looking forward to. And you're going to be able to use your own ingenuity and your own creativity when this comes in. On Thursday, you've been given a great card, my friend. This is the star. This is all about believing in your own dreams and looking towards optimism in your life right now. It's happy times coming in for some of you, and you're going to be able to make positive and optimistic long-term plans when it does. And know that this card refers to you being on the right path right now. On Friday, you are given the Ten of Earth. And this is about, again, happy times. I see a happy time in your family life. And your financial situation for some of you is secure and safe. Um, but it's telling me that you've worked hard for those things and you've earned that right. And especially this time of year, the celebration season, we often have time off to sit back and we look at our families and we look at our blessings and we look at the bountiful uh, um, abundance we have on our tables and everything that we've been given. So, you know what? Sit back and enjoy the magic and enjoy the little things in life right now, my friend. And uh, grace and gratitude is, is definitely uh, being um, put out on the table for you right now to take a look at. On Saturday, my friend, you've been given the nine of air. Air cards have to do with justice and injustice, communicating with people with these issues, and often they have to do with things uh, circulating around the legal system. This is telling me that some of you have had issues like that, and now you're expecting the worst, and you really, um, you, you're actually losing sleep over this issue. So this is a cautionary card, uh, a heads up. Um, you can't deal with these issues if you're not... Um, balanced mind, body, and soul. So take care of yourself so you're not losing your rest. On Sunday, the final day of the week, you've been given the life experience card. And this doesn't come up that often, uh, but it's a tremendous card, my friend. And it's all about recent events uh, or a, a recent event that has happened to some of you that was almost like a major wake-up call for you. And uh, it was about making some pretty big life changes for some of you and you realize now that it's actually happened, action has taken place. Um, but when it happened, it was a moment of freedom and uh, and it was an awakening for some of you. Now you're going to be able to follow your heart's desire and uh, your own intuition um, because, you know, time's running out and um, you need to act on these changes right now. Um, it's a time to spread your wings, my friend. On at the end of the week, I did incorporate that one oracle card. And the oracle card that my guides gave you today is joy. Joy is the highest energy of all we can experience. And at this time of year, please, please, please take the time to enjoy yourself and, uh, and, and to be able to feel the bliss of joy. Because this is the time of year uh, that a lot of us 
sit back and we rem reminisce and uh, we romanticize about the past and uh, the present and the future, uh, what life has in store for us. But right now you need to enjoy uh, yourself and the word joy comes up. Joy is the highest energy of all. It is the magical sense that everything is possible. Joy springs from appreciating the gifts within each moment. Joy allows you to attract and create your present and future moments at their highest possible level. I wish you a great remainder to today, Aquarius, and a wonderful optimistic week to look forward to. Again, I leave you with another quote, and the quote I chose today is, Real strength is not a condition of one's muscle, but a tenderness in one's spirit. See you again next week. And know that I continue to stand in the circle of light for you, my friend.